If you've been watching this channel, one of the things you'll probably know me for is that I always share the latest and best component libraries, component libraries that look sleek, clean, and that just will overall increase your productivity as a full stack web developer. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I have another component library for you, but this one, this one's special because this one is by yours truly, and I'm calling it Style UI. If when you go on this page, I have various different component libraries. Now, here's the thing, I just released some looking to see people's feedback, looking to see if people want more. I don't want to share a hundred components and nobody really use it or benefit from it. So consider this to be a sample, consider this to be a taste, but I shared with you some nice and clean ones. Let's get straight into it. So first things first, I do want to say, and shout out to Shad CNUI because all these components are built using Shad CNUI. So in order to use these components, you're going to need to set up Shad CNUI. And why don't we just do it together? So I'm just going to copy this command right here. Thing I just noticed is I made an oopsie. Shad CN has been updated. It's just Shad CN. I'll update the site on that. But while this is being set up, let's do YouTube tutorial. While this is being set up, I just want to let you know today I'm recording from a different place. I'm actually in my kitchen. And the reason why I'm on my kitchen is because I cooked with these. Uh, all jokes aside, I just want it to be funny. But I, I sincerely hope you enjoy some of these components. We have a bunch of buttons. So you have one bouncing. You have one where you hover over it. The icon spins. You got that nice shimmer effect. And then you have a pulsing dot. All you do is click view code and each button code is here. You could just copy paste to your liking. And I didn't want to just do the regular docs style page. I wanted to do something different. So let me know what you think about this. This is my favorite component. In my opinion, this animated car where when you hover over, you see that shadow, that like gradient light, just following it. And like the card pops up too. again. All you do is click view code. You can click the copy to clipboard uh, icon and then all the code is there. And then you have this nav bar where if you make it fixed, it will float on your page. Looks very, very nice. Code is there as well. Another thing I built is my own custom video player because let's be honest, the HTML uh, video player is quite ugly and a lot of other video players, they, they charge. So when you click on play and you hover over, look at that. Super nice. And you can use tab. So like, look at me, I'm using my keyboard beautifully designed. And as you can see, that works beautifully. And then this is the chat GBT carousel. So if you go on openai.com, I saw these carousels and they looked really, really nice. So I wanted to remake them. And here's my stab at it. So again, all the code completely free. It's yours. And then last but not least, this is my typography um, that I use. Basically, if you go on my rasmic.xyz, and then if you go to the one blog post I have, I really like the typography I use, right? Heavily inspired by Shad CNUI. You could just copy the code and use it yourself. And what's cool is if you plop this on cursor, you just tell cursor, hey, I want my H2 to be like this, my PTAC to be like this. And you'll have an overall uh, similar flow and look on your website. That being said, let's go over to terminal and let's just go New York neutral. Yes. Waiting for my OK, perfect. All right, my project set up. Let's go on VS Code. So. I have my app folder. Let me just run my terminal real quick. I'm going to use actually I'm going to use bun bun install. Okay, all packages are there. Bun run dev. I have my local host ready. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's set up the animated car because this is my favorite. So I'm just going to copy the code, right? And I'm just going to create um, a folder called components. And then in components, I'm just going to call this animated car.tsx, paste the code in here. I'm going to need framer motion for this. So I'm going to install bun install framer motion. All right, that's installed. We're going to hit save. And then I'm just going to add this component. We can just add it under the image. Let's add animated card. And then there's some props that I need to pass. Let's just let uh, VS code give us the props. So the title, we're just going to say Next.js description. We're going to say uh, Next.js starter template code. And then for image, we're just going to use the same one that's being used by the starter code. Paste that. Let's refresh. Would you look at that? 
Now, this is in light mode, so I don't get that nice clean animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to global.css and I have the dark mode um, styles here by Shatzian. I'm just going to swap that for root. So the site's default dark mode. And look at that. Look how clean that looks, right? This is, again, one of my favorite components that I'm sharing with you all. I hope you really enjoy it. Let's do the uh, video player. So I'm just going to copy this code. Let's do a new file, video-player.tsx. We're going to paste this. Everything looks good. And then we're going to go back to the code here. And then under the animated card, let's do video uh, player, right? And then we're going to, oopsies. We're going to close that. Let's get the missing attributes. I believe it's just source. I'm just going to paste that. Go back to the site, hit refresh. And would you look at that? All right, in this video, and I can control the size if I want to, just wrap it in a div. And then what we'll do here is we'll say uh, class name max width. Oh, let me make this bigger. Max width. Let's do 5XL. Let's do one more component. I just want to show you again, like all these are just copy pasteable. Why don't we do the carousel? So I'm going to copy the code for the carousel. And I'm just going to call this chat gbt.tsx for ease of use. Paste it. I'm going to need um, two chatcn um, dependencies. Latest. So I'm going to do npx chatcn at latest add. And then I'm going to add a card and carousel. So I'm going to hit enter. That's done. We're going to save this here. And then underneath, I'm going to call chat GBT carousel. Save this. Go to our page and look at that. Look at that. And again, all the code is here. And then if you want the buttons, you can do the buttons. And then if you want the typography, again, all you do is view code. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you want to check out the repo, the code is completely open source. You can go to the link in the description. Al dash OS would really appreciate it if you started. And then if you wanted to contribute, add components, make changes, if you think you can make some better, please, I encourage you. Thank you so much, everybody. This 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 is an amazing feeling, honestly, to launch my own component library. I know it's just a few, but the Bible says do not despise small beginnings. And I'm really excited about this one. Let me know what your thoughts are. All the links are in the description down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.